Now, NBC5 first warning weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Well, a little bit closer to home right now at 1215 on your Tuesday afternoon. And Marissa, I know this morning we were dealing with all the showers, but luckily it seems like the worst is kind of behind us now, right? Definitely. And we escaped a lot of the severe weather, not by much, but it, it, it has escaped our region. And we are having the potential for isolated storms this afternoon. But again, they won't be at severe limits. So that is definitely good news. We will be drying things out for tomorrow and we will be less humid. Mid, but wet weather is back on our doorstep as we move towards Thursday. Now I wanted to show a fun fact. A lot of people have been wondering how much rain have we already seen this summer and how many days has that been? 31 is the call at Burlington Airport. So that's an entire month of rain. And again, 15 of those were recorded for July. So we'll really have to see what we top out at for the summer. Storm Tracker right now, obviously in southern New England, they're dealing with severe thunderstorms and a tornado warning. So if you do know anyone in the Cape and the Islands today, do make sure they're safe. The good part is the dry air is in control and is really sweeping this moist and humid air out of here, along with the showers and storms. Only a few still linger into the Champlain Valley. I'll zoom into a quick downpour we have in our region right now, just west of Colchester and in the Grand Isle County, dealing with a hefty downpour in North Hero, moving towards St. Albans right now. And that is why there's a flash flood watch in place until later tonight, just because some of these down Downpours that we've dealt with this morning have been stalling over one area for a significant period of time. So if you live in a low lying area, do be on guard throughout the rest of the day. In the temperature department, though, we're largely mild into the uh, southern portions near 80 degrees, 75 in Burlington, 66 in Saranac Lake, 76 in Messina. Dew points right now are very oppressively humid, and that will continue as we move into throughout the day. But we do see a dip in humidity as we move into tomorrow just by a little bit. Bit, and then we're back up into very humid conditions for your Thursday with more moisture on the way. Now let's time this out for you. We'll see some of us get into some sunshine and that will pop up a few thunder showers later this afternoon and this evening. So definitely keep an eye on the sky throughout the day. And again, some of these downpours can drop a significant amount of rain in a short period of time. So you'll want to be on guard for that. Tomorrow morning, I think there will be a few lingering showers but I think we will get into some sun by the time afternoon rolls around. So we'll just have to deal with the nuisance rain in the morning and then some fog. So the high flood risk has since moved to the northeast, which is a good thing. Most of us are just in the moderate flood risk right now. So again, still a good idea to stay on tap for weather alerts throughout the day. Tomorrow we are much warmer temperatures near 80 degrees in the Champlain Valley and much drier and less humid. So that is a good thing. Your extended forecast again shows those storms making their way back in into the afternoon hours on Thursday. But we look to really dry things out as we move to Friday. But otherwise, things are looking really unsettled as we move into the weekend and the start of next work week.